Good morning, church. I like to sleep in on Mondays, so this is coming in a little bit late, but I've got a passage I wanted to share with you, just a brief one. It's from the book of Luke, chapter 10. This is beginning in verse 38. It says, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. Now, if you know about Martha, this is the same Martha whose brother Lazarus dies and we see Jesus raise him from the dead. So this is either the first time they're meeting or it's uh, because they're close friends. But anyway, Martha opens her home to him. Verse 39, she had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. Now, of course, this is a very interesting situation because Jesus was a rabbi. And ordinarily, women were not allowed to listen to rabbis. They were not allowed to receive teaching from rabbis. They were not allowed to uh, pay attention to rabbis like a student would. They could hear them in passing, of course, but they couldn't pay attention like a student would. And here Mary is taking the position of a student. So, number one, she shouldn't be there. She doesn't have the right to be there. She's not, uh, she's not a man. But Jesus apparently doesn't mind. Anyway, verse 40. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. <sighs> I love this passage because it gives us an insight into ourselves. You see, even though Mary is not supposed to listen to Jesus. She's a woman. She's not supposed to sit at the feet of a rabbi. Martha doesn't accuse Mary of doing something societally wrong. Martha accuses Mary of doing something personally wrong. Martha is the one preparing all the food. Martha is the one who is taking care of Jesus's needs. Martha is the one who's taking care of the disciples' needs. Who knows how many people were in Jesus's entourage, and Martha has to care for all of them. And Mary is not helping. Don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. This is exactly the way all of us are. We'll point our finger at someone else. And we'll point our finger at ourselves. And we're the people who are doing the things that are right. And those are the people who are doing things that are wrong. And Jesus, why don't you tell those wrong people to come and do the right thing with us? Our own self-righteousness seems to always get in the way. And so here's Martha. Jesus, I'm doing the right thing. Tell her to do the right thing with me. Or at least tell her to help me do the right thing. And Jesus' answer is one that has spoken to the hearts of people for centuries. Verse 41, he says, Martha, Martha. I don't know how he said it. I picture him saying it with a sigh. Maybe he says it with a little more authority. Martha, Martha. But I picture him saying it with a sigh. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered. You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. Martha, you are worried about your reputation. Martha, you are worried about hospitality. You are worried about what people will think of you. You are worried about whether or not this situation is just and right and fair. Martha, you're worried about many things, but few things are needed, or maybe even only one. Jesus is present. It's possible that only one thing is needed, that you just spend some time with him. It's possible that you just need to be in his presence. Mary has chosen what is better and it won't be taken away from her. My friends today, you are probably worried and upset about many things. You, like me, are probably worried about our world. You're worried about whether or not your family is going to f suffer any 
consequences from this coronavirus. You're probably worried about finances. You're worried and upset about many things. I know there are lots of things that I'm kind of worried and upset about. But few things are needed, or indeed only one. If you have the chance to spend time with Jesus, put down your apron, put down those spoons, put down that dish rag, Put down those worries and come and sit and be still and listen. Because Mary has chosen what is better and it won't be taken away from her. My friends, whoever you are, however you're listening to this or watching this, let me just encourage you, today's a day to choose what is better. Today's a day to choose what is better. Yeah, there are lots of things to be worried and upset about. And like, yeah, you've got your own family responsibilities to take care of. And all of us have our responsibilities to take care of. But don't forget this. When you have a chance to spend some time with Jesus, do it. Because Mary chose what is better and it won't be taken away from her. Let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I just ask that today you would give us all a sense of presence with Jesus. Help us to sense him in our home. Help us to honor him with our lives. Help us to reach out to those that we know over the internet and share our confidence and our trust and our hope and our faith in Jesus with them. And help us to be people who choose what is better. Lord, thank you for being a God that we can come to and sit with. We love you. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day today.